Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace the main PC board on a Windsor Sensor S12 model. Um, this may cross over into some other Windsor sensors as well, so um, if so, then hopefully that'll help you out on, on uh, models that are similar. So first thing you're going to do is unplug the vacuum, make sure everything, make sure it's not plugged in. And uh, then you're going to uh, separate the two halves. And I'll show you how to do that. So I like to lay it on its back. And then I'm, you push this button down. And then I'll take a usually a big flat blade and just kind of slide it in here and just give it a couple little pops and then it'll slide apart just like that. Okay. Next, you're going to remove your hood screws. And I've already done that off camera, so but it's just here and here where my thumbs are. So take those two screws out. They're just Phillips head machine screws. Look like this. Take those two screws out. And then your hood is going to just lift up. You can lift it up from the back just like that and there's actually two little hooks on the front so you want to start from the back and hinge it upward to get it out of place <clears throat> so that pretty much gets you into where you need to work so here's where the main PC board is uh, what happens on these that I see is the solder joints will fail um, on the uh, on the board so if you are capable um, sometimes you can resolder that sometimes there's enough there's too much burning uh, that's happened as a result of that and then it's just best to replace the whole board all together. So um, it, Usually I'm just recommending that repair uh, so you're getting things back to perfect again so uh, what you're going to want to do is We're going to take the two screws off here So we're so we're going to have be able to have some acts more access to remove this uh, this assembly so um, So we've got two Phillips heads here And then um, it's probably easiest if you unplug this red ribbon wire and then just move it out of place. And by the way, before you start taking stuff apart, if you've never done it before, one quick uh, uh, tip on doing that so that you can put it back together properly, especially with regards to wires being routed and stuff, is take a picture of everything from different angles so that when you go back uh, to reassemble it, you can consult the picture to make sure that um, everything's going in the right place because it's pretty easy to forget all, uh, a lot of that stuff. So, um, so we got the two screws out and I'm going to um, um, also go ahead and pop, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up this main power plug here this is actually what's delivering wire uh, power to the motor. So this is your hot and your neutral going to the motor. So then that, that wire is going to get out of the way. And then there's enough slack on the ground to just move it, move it out of the way. Uh, get your ribbon cable slid out. And this black part here is just going to slide up out of place. Okay, and this will probably happen to you. As this thing gets out of place and then what you're going to do is just it, you're going to make sure that it goes stays back in place i'll show you when we're putting it back together i'll show you what to, what you need to look for there so now you have uh some pretty open access to your um to your main pc board and i'm going to see if i can prop this up uh, let's see if this will work just for the camera i can get a little better angle on this a little block of wood Okay, so now you're going to uh, remove the one screw. Well, first, I'll go ahead and take all the uh, the rest of the connections off. So you can kind of just stick a screwdriver and just lightly pry up so that these um, come out of place. And then take the screw out for the main board. Okay. Then at that point, you're going to lift it up out of place. And then you have two wires here. Um, and then you have your ribbon cable. Now the new the new board comes with a ribbon cable. So um, and then this wire actually goes to your full bag indicator sensor. It's a little pressure sensor that is actually down inside of here, inside of this area, and it's a very simple pressure switch. Um, and so one thing that happens is if these machines have a full bag indicator and there is no clog and you have a new bag in there 
um, then what's happening is that pressure sensor has actually gotten dirty. Um, I'm thinking about posting a video on how to fix that, but it's a pretty detailed repair. So um, I'm not sure if I got good enough footage on that. So, um, but uh, if you're interested in that video, just leave a comment for me um, and I can uh, either redo a video because the one I did at first, I didn't feel like it was very thorough. Um, so anyways, but the purpose of this, these two wires are uh, to tell the board to turn the light on for the full bag indicators uh, for the sensor. Okay, so you have your new, new, your new um, PC board, and this, is, this board is fine, um, so I'm just doing this for the sake of the video, taking it out and putting it back in. Um, so your, your, new, your new board will, um, I think that will be your, uh, your number there. And it comes with a new ribbon, ribbon cable, so... Um, you can take yours out with this connected. Um, so the big thing is wire routing and making sure you're getting this in properly. And at the bottom of this board, you're actually going to see a small little slot for, uh, for where this red wire is going to insert. And that is kind of the most important detail here um, as you're getting it back installed properly. So Because um, if you get that pinched, you could ha end up damaging that wire. So you can plug that in, and then as you're sliding it in place, just keep an eye on um, to make, making sure that that wire is still inside of that little slot. Okay. Um, I don't really like how it's doing. It's kind of coming out of place for me, so I'm going to pull it back out. that in there come underneath the ground wire okay so and then you can go ahead and put your screw back in you got one screw on the top here and then you actually have labels here so this this one here has an L for line and an N for neutral Okay, so you're gonna to to connect those, and then you can go ahead and reinstall your cover here. So um, what you're gonna do with this piece here is you're gonna make sure that it's um, underneath. There's a little lip. There's a little lip right here. So just make sure that it's um, sitting underneath that. So now you're gonna go ahead and slide this down in place, and you want to watch closely these wires back down in here. You're going to get up underneath your, your ground wire here, and then you're going to lower it down. And this piece, since it's spring-loaded, it's going to want to like swing out of the way for you. So you've got to have to keep an eye on this, this part here okay, to make sure it stays in place. So you can hold your hand down on that if you want to keep it in place. Um, and then your ribbon wire, just slowly lower it down. And you can see part of this assembly here has three little, um, there's three little locators and those just kind of ride flush with, um, those will kind of indicate this little, little curved area here. Okay, now what you're gonna do here is, is then look at routing your wires back properly. Go ahead and prop it down. So you first wanna run your ground wire because it runs right up here and then underneath here. Okay, and then tuck that down inside of there. Okay, and then you can go ahead and plug your, your white and black back in. And then you can route those wires. Those go right in here. Okay. And then go ahead and tuck, tuck your ribbon cable wire in. It goes in like that, goes sideways under there, and then plugs in here. Okay, so that is the proper wiring um, routing. And, uh, and if you took a picture of it, then it, it'll probably come in handy for when you're trying to redo it and uh, do it again. So I'm just trying to get these back under there. If you ever have to use a screwdriver 
uh, like I just did there, you want to just be careful that you're not going to pierce the uh, um, pierce the sheathing of the wiring. So, okay. So um, then at this point would be a good time to go ahead and plug in the top section so that you can actually test to see if it works properly. Um, I know this works, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I'll keep moving forward on uh, showing you how to put it, put it back together. So now you just have your two screws here at the top on your black cover piece. And just like that. Um, and then now you're going to go ahead and get your hood put back on. So start from the, uh, start from the front and remember these two hooks. So you're going to start from the front get that aligned and then rotate it down and then it should come down to where you have a nice um, a fairly nice line here so there's not huge gaps and then you know you know it's nice and flush here and flush along the side here so and then go ahead and put your screws back in You can always check this clean out port. A lot of times there's junk um, stuck right in here and that keeps this door cracked open slightly which cuts down your, your performance. So check that door to clean out door to make sure there's not any junk um, stuck in there so that this is closing all the way. Um, taking the spring, the whole thing out is actually quite a process because you have to take this whole cover out. And I believe if I remember correctly, you might have to pull the whole motor to be able to get to this screw. Um, to where this screw is located. I can't remember exactly, so that's off of memory. Um, so go ahead and put your um, top back on and then plug it in and test it out. And that is how to do it. I hope this is helpful. Um, if you like this information, this was useful comment, uh, useful content, would love, you, uh, would love for you to um, leave a comment or a like and subscribe. And uh, I do this for a living. So if you if this was valuable to you and you wanna you wanna throw me a, a, a couple bucks, it's always appreciated um, for that. So thanks guys. Take care.